In Division 3, Racine State Cats comes in looking for their sixth straight title since 2005. Standing in the Angels' way is Lacrosse Aquinas, who come in at 26 and 1. The winner in this one will take home the Division 3 crown. We jump right to the third, and Jordan Faust is drawing defenders again. He drops a sweet dime to Justin Erickson, who's cut into the hoop. Angels up two. But points were more difficult to come by for the Angels and Faust in this one. He hits the turnaround hook here, but that would be the only bucket for the talented junior. Then later in the quarter, Alex Grakowski comes up with the loose ball, and he's going coast to coast with it. He gets the bucket to go, and St. Katz leads 26-24, heading to the four. In the fourth, one of the state's top prospects, Bronson Koenig, puts his blue golds on his back as he drills his second three in the second half to put Aquinas up by four. Later in the quarter, when his team needed a stop, Faust comes up big. He gets the steal and leads the break. Uses the killer crossover, then drops another dime to Erickson. Erickson led the Angels with 14 points, and just like that, we're tied at 32. But Canning was just too much for the Angels. He drills another triple to put the Blue Golds back up three at 35-32. Then off a steal, he gets on the break, goes to the bucket, feeds Andy Vagel, who gets the easy bucket underneath. In the end, the Angels only scored two points in the last five minutes of play and fell on lacrosse Aquinas 40-34. With the loss, the Angels tasted defeat for the first time ever at the state tournament. The Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes have been the cardiac kids in the Division II playoffs with an overtime win over Wisconsin Lutheran and then Jamie Schneck's tipping at the buzzer against Seymour. The Bay is one win away from the school's third state title. Whitefish Bay got out to a quick start. Ron Padden nails a deep three to put the Blue Dukes up 7-2 early. Then with time winding down in the quarter, seldom will use Jack Beck steps in and drills a jumper to give the Bay a three-point lead after one. In the second, Will Davis on the push finds Keelan Johnson underneath. He gets the bucket plus the foul. Blue Dukes up three at the half. In the third, Virginia recruit Paul Jasperson try to bring the Blue Jays back as he buries a deep three to tie the game. But then Davis carves up the D and finds Patton who buries the triple. Patton scored 10 points in the quarter. Later in the fourth, Johnson goes hard to the hole, takes the contact and scores the bucket. Johnson scored 17 in the game. Late in the fourth, Patton is out in front and he's cleared for takeoff. Patton slams the Bay past Merrill 65 to 49 and in doing so helps the Bay capture the school's third state title and its first since 1998. There's not often that, that you can call yourselves state champions and we can do that. Um, and, and I couldn't be prouder of these guys or this coaching staff. Um, you know, I can't say enough. 